AED mode is intended for use only on patients in cardiac arrest who are unconscious, not breathing normally, with no pulse or other signs of circulation, and at least eight years old. We're going to look at how AED mode operates using physio controlled default settings, but be aware that the 20E can be set up differently based on your organization's medical direction. Make sure you're familiar with how your 20E is set up for your protocols. So, let's begin. You have an unresponsive patient. Verify the patient is not breathing normally and has no pulse or other signs of circulation. Turn on the defibrillator, bare the chest, prep the skin if necessary, place the electrodes in the anterior lateral position as shown in the picture on the back of the electrodes. Make sure the electrodes do not touch each other, lead wires, ECG electrodes, dressings, or medication patches. Place electrodes away from implanted devices if possible. Be sure the entire electrode surface adheres to the skin. Use fresh electrodes if you have to reapply them. Push Analyze. This message appears and stays up until you push the Analyze button. No one should move the patient during analysis, so stop CPR and make sure everyone is clear of the patient. Then push the Analyze button. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Shock advised. Stand clear. Push to shock. Before you push the shock button, look around to make sure everyone is clear of the patient and clear of anything in contact. Make sure concentrated sources of oxygen are well away from the patient's chest. If it's not safe to push the shock button, you can press the speed dial to cancel the charge. Or if you don't push the shock button within 60 seconds, the defibrillator will automatically cancel the charge. You'll see this message. If you do proceed to shock, Analyzing now. Stand clear. Shock advised. Stand clear. Okay, push all clear? To shock. Now push the shock button. The defibrillator delivers the shock and prompts you to perform CPR. Start CPR. A CPR timer will count down. The CPR metronome helps you time compressions and ventilations. Remember to do compressions hard and fast according to current recommendations. At the end of CPR time, the AED prompts for another analysis. Push Analyze. Continue to follow screen messages and voice prompts until the code team arrives. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. You've determined the patient is in cardiac arrest. You followed the screen prompts and pushed Analyze. Analyzing now. Stand clear. But the AED does not find a shockable rhythm. You get this message. No shock advice. Then it goes straight into CPR time. Start CPR. At the end of CPR time. Push analyze. It tells you to push analyze and the cycle repeats as necessary. When advanced users arrive, manual mode may be accessed according to how your device is set up. It's important that you're familiar with how to access manual mode in your device. Now, here are a couple of situations that might come up while you're using AED mode. For example, you get the motion detected message. Motion detected. Stop motion. This message might come up while the AED is trying to analyze the patient's heart rhythm, but some kind of motion is interfering with the signal. You should figure out what's causing the motion. Is the patient breathing? Is there a transport motion? Is someone touching the patient? CPR, agonal breathing. Remember, do not analyze the patient's rhythm during transport. Motion artifact may affect the ECG signal resulting in an inappropriate shock or no shock advised decision. If the motion is something you can stop, stop it. If the interference is not something you can stop, like agonal breathing, just wait. The AED will finish the analysis and give a decision, even in the presence of motion. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Shock advised. Now, if you have everything connected, but you get this message. Connect. Electrodes. There may be too much patient hair preventing good contact. Remember to remove excessive hair before applying electrodes. If you push the Analyze button, but you get this message. Remove test plug. Remove the test plug from the therapy cable and connect the therapy electrodes. Or maybe something is wrong with your therapy cable. Check your therapy cable daily. If you have everything connected and you get this message, connect cable. It's likely that something is wrong with the therapy cable. So again, check your therapy cable daily.